coach of the New Zealand All Whites, Ricky Herbert, and the captain of the New Zealand All Whites, uh, Ryan Nelson. We'll start by some opening comments from Ricky and Ryan, and then we'll open up for questions uh, straight after that. So, Ricky. Thanks. Um, well, it's good to be here. It's been a while uh, since we've had a game against Australia, so uh, I think in context of us both going to the World Cup, it's a, a really fitting opportunity for, for the nations to come together. So. Uh, it's great. It's, it's sort of three weeks away yet, but um, looking forward to it. Hopefully, it's a good crowd. It's all the players here are back and healthy, and, and looking forward to, to the next three weeks and what's ahead. So, uh, players are very excited. I think same with the Australian players. It's um, just the start of a, of a fantastic, hopefully uh, five six weeks, and um, we're really looking forward to it. I'm just wondering how um, why we can't get sponsored by Solo Full Lemon. Curves as well. Right. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'd like to open up the questions now. Ryan, obviously there's a deep rivalry between, rivalry between Australia and New Zealand. How good would it be to come over here and beat the Australians on their own to in front of the pack in the CG? Oh, well, in all honesty, um, you know, it's, um, there is a big rivalry, rivalry but we, we all know that. I know the Australian players really well and they know us and um, they're all a good bunch of guys. and. And um, I think they understand, and so do we, that it's just the first stage of what's going to be a really important five weeks. Um, obviously for us, yeah, it's, it's a big game, and uh, we want to do well, but um, the performance is the most important for us. And, um, yeah. I mean, we haven't played since November 14 as a collective group of players, or the extended squad as well. Um, we had a match in Mexico, which had a, a lot of new faces there. So for us, it's, it's really just getting on back on the pitch again and, and getting playing. Well, there'll be mistakes, and and we can work on those as we lead towards the World Cup. But uh, I think, like Ryan said, I think the players are dead set keen to get out there and, and, and kind of get this campaign underway. It's it's been euphoria back home, as you can imagine, as it, as it has been no doubt in Australia. So it's kind of time to get down to the the business side of things and get cracking. And there's 23 players who'll be. He'll be desperate come June 15 to, to be part of that starting 11. In a country where it's traditionally still been a you know third or fourth class citizen behind the two rugby's, um, has football really taken off in New Zealand as a result of this qualification? Yeah, look, I think if you'd been there since November 15, you'd probably realise that uh, it's, it's not third or fourth ranked. It's, it's probably number one at the moment, um, and, and probably quite high on that ranking. It's just been incredible. I mean. You know, Ryan's been back and book launches and, and, and having based the team there in Auckland for a few days and been around the country sort of previously sort of supporting the, the game. It's, it's been staggering. I mean, 82 I thought was a fantastic time, but um, this, this has been you know, incredibly successful. And it's fantastic. And as Ricky says now, we were just astonished with, when I came back, well, the team was astonished with the, with the, the, the support, the coverage. Um, and uh, the great thing about it is this team in four years' time will be stronger. Like all our players, we've got young players who are, we've got one player playing who's already got Premier League experience and he's 18. We've got one guy who's most of the Italian clubs are looking at him, playing in Denmark, who, who at the moment, you know, is on, could potentially be on our bench. It's, uh, you know, in three years' time, if you look at the Australian team, and in three years' time, you look at the New Zealand team, there'll be two vast different uh, stories. It'll be, it's really exciting. Um, yeah, look, I think the pressure is always going to be on, and I think that's to be expected. That's the industry, and uh, and quite rightly so. I mean, we want to make a difference. We want to go there and do well. So, but the public being incredibly supportive, I think, you know, 28 years long, long time in the wilderness, not to be back on that stage and and to get it back. I think people have been. You know, incredibly supportive, and you know, whilst a lot would think that 
it's a great achievement to get there. And I think internally as a group that you know, we kind of want to take a little bit further than that. When you look at our, our strike team, um, you know, a guy playing, two guys playing in the championship, a guy playing in the premiership who has been on the bench, a, a guy who's, who's been MVP and goal, goal scorer for how many years? Three years in a row in, this, in the Australian League. Um, you know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad firepower. I think I think uh, most teams would be quite happy with that. So, um, so yeah, when I look at that, I've, gee, was I've been on a lot of New Zealand teams where it given my left arm to have that kind of firepower. So, I'm not worried at all. There he is, my friend. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, you're right? Hey, mate. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. That's yeah. Turkish white. Yeah. You've got black on as well, is it? Oh, yeah, that's rude. I'll do a lot of story. Come here, mate. Yep. Right. Sure, I'll guess, uh, guess in the middle, huh? That's all I see. Maybe everyone with hands around the back. Good play, guys. Thank you. Well done. Can you shake hands, please, coaches? Coaches, shake hands. Oh, I always do. Yeah. Okay.